what's up everybody so we're gonna go do a hike on the fern trail i just want to show you guys how to get there so that's the golf course and we're on club view club view drive right now so the way you get to club view is you'll take moon ridge road from big bear boulevard there's only one way you can go on moon ridge road when you're on big bear boulevard so go on moon ridge road and turn right on club view and just take it all the way to the top you'll be passing bear mountain on the left up here and yeah i will show you We're only about two and a half, three minutes away. All right, so we're coming up here on Bear Mountain to the left. Most of you would usually turn left here to go into the parking lot and go skiing or snowboarding. But we're just gonna stay on this road. And as I said, go up to the very top. There is a little dirt parking lot at the very top. And that is where the Fern Trail begins. So I guess I'll just take you guys all the way up. It's not going to be that far. This is a really nice trail. And it's, it's not too long of a trail. The difficulty is still probably beginner level if you're going from top, top to bottom. Maybe a, a bit tougher if you go from the bottom to the top. But we're going to go from the top to the bottom. This is an area I send you guys sledding for free in the winter time. This place right here. All right, so here's the little dirt lot. Huh? A little squirty. Okay. I've never been up that way. I've seen people coming down. Up where? Back, back that way. On that road right there? Oh, like up that hill? Oh, yeah. Oh. I've seen people coming down from up there. Wow, front row parking. Yep, makes me a little nervous that there's no one else here. Just because, you know, it is Southern California. You do get some shaders out here, but we, we will do the best we can. Say hi, babe. Alright, so if we went that way where that truck is and we went through that fence, that's the 2N10. I'm hoping that is opened up this uh, this summertime, but we'll see. And this is what we are taking right now. We are taking the Fern Trail. It's one and a half miles from here, total. And yeah, there we go. So hang tight guys, I'm going to attach this to my helmet up here, or to my helmet, to my hat, and we'll get going. All right, guys. And then another thing that gets me a little bit worried about not seeing other people up here is there aren't that many people to be scaring away the bears. I know there's been some bear sightings on this side of town. Excuse me, sir. Can you stop following me? <sighs> Babe, just walk, baby. Just walk. <laughs> okay, well that's interesting. Something happened with the camera and then it just said it's going to repair the file and then it repaired the file. So we'll see. It's a pretty easy hike, right babe? What do you think? Keep your eyes open for, for snakes, even though it's still a little bit chilly. So what Rachel and I do, you guys, is we ended up uh, parking down at the bottom where we're going to end up, just so we don't have to walk back up to the car. So we've got one car here at the top and one car at the bottom. So when we get down there, we're just going to take her car and bring me to my car. Yeah, this is a 
neat, neat little trail. My only defense is a little pocket knife. That's right. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Except for that lizard. Yep. <laughs> interesting looking tree right there it looks like it was painted it looks fake all of these look at that color brown on those branches it just looks really fake we've had mountain lion sightings this season already, and I mean big mountain lions, like, mm. yeah. I didn't even know that they ran around that big around here. It looked like we were in Africa. <laughs> they really did. really trying to keep an eye out for anything because again guys with no one walking through here for a while I don't want to be the one to spook any of these bigger animals even on little hikes like this I should have told someone where we're going and when to expect us back I'm trying to go as slow as I can, babe. I'm I'm sorry. Any slower, I'll be going backwards. Rachel's got bad knees, you guys, so it's a... Uh... Oh. So that's just an excuse when it when you need it to be? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I've fallen for it. Yeah, it's just, these are so brown. It, it, doesn't that really look fake? It really does. Someone leave in the comment what, what those are called. That would be great. I just wish she would go a little faster because I am a little bit nervous through here. It really is a nice peaceful trail. 
and it basically drops you off guys in the middle of lower moon ridge on some military uh there's some sort of a, a military camp or something in that area and this is off of that road at the bottom it's off of switzerland switzerland and i can't and yeah once we get down there i'll be able to get the name of the road but it is pretty convenient if you do have two cars and you, and you don't have a whole bunch of time just to park one at the bottom and one at the top Last time I was on this hike, there were uh, quite a few bicyclists. Some of them going up the hill. I got a lot of admiration for those folks. That is a heck of a workout. Even being in those lower gears or higher gears, whatever you want to call it. There's that tree right there. There's a tree that people have used to memorialize loved ones because it's got a big hole in it. And people put, you know, I don't know, nice, nice things to say and flowers and just all type of, of different stuff in there. It's like some sort of a magic tree or something. I don't know. but it is pretty, pretty powerful. When you come up to it, you can feel all the love and pain. I'm hoping this hat cam you guys are enjoying better than my other chest mount because now you guys are getting the exact perspective I'm getting every time I look somewhere you're seeing exactly what I'm looking at hey there little guy <laughs> pretty steep up there we came down from about over there but yeah it has been a, a pretty steep descent it's been a decent descent it is so beautiful man And as you can imagine, it smells so good in here. It's just wilderness, forest, nature. It's a beautiful thing.
I think we're about a third of the way through. I'm definitely enjoying it, babe. Speed up. Come on, baby. The smell is beautiful. I'm loving this the nature smell out here. So, so peaceful. Ooh, it smells really good right here. Yep. Mm. I almost slipped. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. I've slipped it a couple times. No big deal, though. It's not like you guys, if you slip, you're going to fall down the hill. So you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, it's very piney over here. Really nice. Yeah, make sure you have the right kind of shoes. Yeah. You could probably get away with just regular walking shoes on here, but always try to wear hiking boots if you can, just to keep your ankles safe from, from all the slipping. Not all the slipping, but the few times you might slip. I didn't wear my hiking boots. Yeah, see, she's, she's fine. I've, I slipped once, but it was minor, because I'm looking out, not paying attention. Oh, wow, there's some there. big trees in here. I, it, it kind of looks like a mosquito infested area down there, yeah? It's probably horribly infested. Here's a little trail that goes off the trail. Someday we'll check out and see where that goes. I should have looked at the watch to see when we are when we started. We gotta hike this uphill one of these days. Mm. Jog it. No, just hike it. You can't even keep up with me walking one mile an hour, babe. You're... <laughs> but jogging does sound nice. breeze down here. Look at the size of this tree trunk right here. My gosh. Some of these trees you guys are so huge. And this thing's an absolute monster. Gosh. Unbelievable. Careful, you might slip on those dry pine needles. <laughs> Babe, it's it's flat. <laughs> Come on, let me the They're free. Oh, thanks, babe. Yeah. Oh. Let me run you in that.
I'm gonna, wait, I gotta let go. As I said, guys, we're almost to that special tree. I guess it's like the, uh, it's the, it's what a lot of people go hiking on this trail for. It's, you can find it online and it's called the healing tree. Okay, the healing tree. I'll show you how to get to it. A lot of people on Facebook post about it. Look at these roots. I know, crazy, huh? Yeah. Um, giant roots. Well, those are some giant trees. I think next time we go on a midweek hike or early week hike when there aren't a lot of people out there, I'm going to bring my noisemaker just in case. Huh? Your noise bang, bang. Uh, just, just, just in case. Not to harm anything, but if something does get close, hopefully it'll scare it away just by firing it. If we go on weekends, not as necessary. Yeah. Because there's a lot more people out. Uh, either there was like a big avalanche or something that came down through here because there's so many trees that are down. Maybe just the weight of the snow. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so here's a there. here's a trailhead. Or a, okay, so yeah, so we are. So we've we've gone we've been through a third of the hike. So there's two thirds left. Okay. Seems like we've we've done a little bit more than a half a mile, doesn't it? Um, but maybe not. Okay. And again, guys, because we are still having sometimes some really cold nights, even down to freezing and below, it's probably why we're not seeing many uh, snakes out here yet. But give it about a month and they'll be all over the place. What? What's up? Oh. I'm going to stay down here. That's what I thought. It's so muddy. I'm, I'm going to go up here then because it's really muddy right there. Look how steep that is, you guys. That is so steep. It goes way up there.
Okay, so that's where I would have come out right there. Yeah, you guys would really enjoy this hike. You alright? We got a little bit of running water right here. Going down into this little creek. And typically that's where you'll find some wildlife that we might not want to run into. And here's that special tree. Look at that, guys. I think the tree was obliterated by lightning or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it just got old and died and fell apart. Yeah, this is a lot of people take solace in this tree. You know, when you read the names and the messages, it is sad. Yeah, that tree's always nice. Huh? Yeah, I saw it. Yep. What are you looking for? The rock you said? Hey, little stink bug, or beetle, whatever you are. That wasn't a stink bug. The environment, you guys, and the scenery down here really begins to change into more of like a, I don't know, just a flat, beautiful nature preserve type of an area. It's really, it's really nice down here. The first part of that hike is steep. And I guess it's all alpine, but still. We're still gonna be going downhill from here, but it's uh, there's much more flat space all over the place. I think that's Willow. Those are the houses on Willow.
This is the right way, right? Yeah, because that sign's, yeah. Usually they got pretty good signage over here too, you guys. Someone put a birdhouse way up in that tree right there. That's really cool. Or a squirrel feeder, I don't know. How's your legs, babe? They're fine. Oh, I bet this is or is a creek. I'm sure a lot of runoff comes comes right through there. All the way down into our lake and right by Snow Summit. I'm a fast hiker. I forget I'm with my slowpoke wife, which means that I need to wear a jacket next time. There's some more people coming up, babe. What's up guys? Okay. Enjoy the hike. Thanks, you too. Thank you, bro. Sun feels so good right here. Oh, yeah. It's a little part of the trail that ends up coming right into here. So the first time I did this hike, I wanted to go this way, but we're gonna, we want to go this way. Let me just make sure. But it looks like, yeah, we can get to where we need to go over there too. So yeah, for all this stuff, guys, you might want to hit pause and zoom in so you can see, see everything. Wow, what beautiful foxes we have up here. Look at that. Silver foxes. Oh, I'd love to see a silver fox. They're pr really pretty. I'm used to seeing the orange just... Uh, sign says that way. Huh? Oh, well, I'm going this way. It's it, it's going to let us off on that same road anyway.
if you want to go that way we can we could actually do a little test and just see what's faster for like for like next time do you want to do that you go that way i go this way because no. we're right here okay babe <laughs> yeah, today was a very windy day all over town. I mean very windy. Some parts of town we're seeing sustained winds of 40 miles an hour and gusts up to 60 over near Baldwin. It was really really bad earlier today. I'm glad it's not that crazy right now. I saw a little trick on the road with lights. I hope he's not giving people tickets. Oh. Did you see him? No. Like blue and reds? Yeah, like well, let's get back, babe. If you happen to get a parking ticket, it'll be my fault. I'll take care of it. But it didn't say no parking. It just said no trespassing. Beyond the fence. That makes me more confident we're going the right way, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely going to take us to some populated area. Okay, babe. That's just so much bigger down here. It just feels a lot bigger down here. Look at these these yellow flowers. Wow, those are really yellow. Really nice. Very colorful, huh, babe? In an otherwise brown and green area. On Gold Mountain Trail, there were a few spots of really purple stuff. It was really nice. This would be nice little spots to go camp out. Oh, you know what? There's a bunch of houses right there. We can cut down there and take a couple different trails that way, but we're just gonna stay here. There's something right here. I wonder if, if you can drive up there. Probably not, probably not. Bike, babe. How's it going?
I think I see the road right there. We're, we're, we're almost done. It seems like that last mile went pretty quickly. I like getting through these hikes, get a nice brisk little walk going. So on this trail, you're not allowed to have e-bikes. Nothing to assist you. I wonder why that is. Because I know e e e like the e-bikes don't make much noise, do they? So why would that be a rule? Can someone leave in the comments and tell me why that is? Why it says no e-bikes allowed, but other regular bicycles are allowed? that blue sky is oh man it's just so so gorgeous today Take a little trail up there. That's definitely not our trail. As you guys notice, they have those those little arrows pointing which way to go, so you can typically trust it's leading you in the right direction. Always follow the signs. No matter how much right people think they are follow the signs because you don't want to get lost the wilderness can be a very unforgiving place oh yeah i'm assuming that little trail that cut off to the left i'm assuming this is it right here it's just it was just a little 50 yard detour. Burnt. Oh, that was really charred. She's saying it's definitely the wrong way, but again, guys, that's what's giving me hope that we're going the right way. Maybe the wrong way, right? I don't think so, though. But... Maybe that way takes us to that first part where, where we parked. Instead of... Oh, 
Well, we're starting to make a turn in the right direction here, so that's good. It's a ton of bicycle trails here. Yeah. Wonder if there's something in there. I don't want to get too close. I can't see, so I'll be interested to see on camera or on the video if there's anything in there. Wait till you guys see Wednesday's video. I've never been off-roading like this ever, like real off-road experience. All the times I've taken my truck or car onto a dirt road, I, I call it off-roading. But this time was in a friend's truck and we did the whole Gold Mountain Trail and it was, I mean, I, it just looked like how are you going to get this car over these rocks like how is that even possible but we did it and i am just still pretty shocked about how how insane it was i think you guys are going to love it it's probably going to bring a whole new audience to the channel especially because we're going to be doing a a jeep off-road adventure series in about a week and a half or so he's going to come back up and and take me on some other uh a little bit shorter trail it's called the john something trail all right guys we made it so we're we're where i stop this is yeah so we're we're up, we're up here i think right or are we we're down there yes no i think we're over here i don't know yes correct that's right babe but we did make it guys and then here is this sign again you guys pause it zoom in we made it we made it all right so this road i it's right off of switzerland it's it's, it's right it's as soon as you turn on switzerland from elm street it's literally 15 yards down Switzerland. And then down here is some sort of a marine. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a spot for them for, for something for the United States military. Yeah, guys, we just went from way up there. Very, very, very pretty. And here, there's a few homes on this street. Once we... You know, I, I never noticed that there were actually homes on this part of the road. That's, that's awesome. I could live there for sure. So what I'm going to do is once we, uh, I'll keep us rolling until we get to uh, 
to Elm Street and then we'll we'll be done I'll take us to Switzerland and then to Elm Street so we parked next to this entrance so if we would have stayed on the trail a little bit more to the left we would have ended up here but yeah cool so as soon as we get in the car I'll turn it back on for a minute hope you guys enjoyed that bear with me a sec I'll be right back all right guys so we're gonna take this little road once we get to uh, to club view and make that right hand turn I'm gonna shut it off but when we make that right hand turn as long as we keep on going straight you're gonna end up where my vehicle is at the very top yeah this is a military access road or something I can never remember this is where we just came from way up top there a mile and a half up And this is where we ended up coming out. So this next street we're coming up to is called Switzerland. And it's got some humongous mansions and some serious potholes if you turn left yeah you'll you'll run into a bunch of insane mansions on the left and right hand side and if you keep on taking it you'll end up hitting summit boulevard right at snow summit but we're gonna turn right on switzerland and now right here on elm street which will turn into willow so this will turn into willow around this left hand turn as I said, as soon as we get to uh, Club View, which is where we started the drive, I will shut off. started started this whole video there's the golf course to the left yeah so just stay on this road club view all the way up to the top remember bear mountain's going to be on your left hand side keep on passing bear just literally take this to the very top into the dirt parking lot and you will see the fern trail and some other fun stuff up there peace out you guys thank you guys for everything hit the like and subscribe button help the channel out we appreciate you being here and uh yeah go to bigbearweatherandmore.com get your merch if you want to help support the channel we'd appreciate it thank you thank you peace out guys